Cameroon for Tweaks, I'm back again for another video unboxing. Um, today we're looking at the Ace Rock Z77 uh, Extreme motherboard. Uh, so let's uh, open it up now and uh, give you a look inside. Um, on the front of the box, uh, of course, you can see the Z uh, or Z77 branding here. This is the Extreme 6 version. Uh, we also have the 4, but today we're going to focus on the Extreme 6. Um, one of the big things that Ace Rock is focusing on here and promoting with this uh, series of broads, boards is uh, 555 X Fast. So they're claiming um, five times LAN speed, five times USB USB speed, five times RAM speed. Um, so let's open it up now and, and give you a look at the package. Um, as always, we've already removed the, a lot of the plastic wrapping and stuff like that. Um, we'll start off here. Software setup guide, uh, a really thick, um, detailed, quick installation guide here. Not really quick. A lot of uh, information in here, as you can see. Um, there's just a bit of paperwork here talking about um, 555 XFast and also the inclusion of Virtue MVP that we'll talk a little bit later. Talk about a little bit later on. Um, we've got a bunch of um, cyber cables here, as you can see. Um, this is a SLI bridge, and here we have the I.O. panel. And one of the things that Azu uh, Ace Rock rather, has been doing uh, for a while is including uh, this USB 3 um, front panel um, connector here. So this connector will plug onto the motherboard, and that will give you two USB, uh, port USB 3 ports on the front of your case. Um, and what we've got here as well is just the, of course, driver CD that comes with most boards. And uh, we open it up here. I'll move the box out of the way. And here's your first look at the Ace Rock Z77 Extreme 6. So uh, Ace Rock here has gone with a black and gold theme. Um, you can see gold caps all over the board. Uh, all along here this, for the CPU um, power area. You've got uh, three PCI Express uh, 16 slots here. So this of course supports uh, SLI uh, Crossfire X as well. So you have uh, three, three video cards here of course. Uh, Ace Rock does say that it comes with uh, quad SLI support. Uh, of course there's only three slots. So they're talking about something like a GTX 590 that's got uh, two G uh, GPUs per card. So of course when you have four GPUs, we're the kind of with a four-way uh, quad SLI setup. Uh, what's a little bit interesting here is they've included a um, FDD connector, a uh, floppy disk, so I haven't seen one of those for a while. Obviously there's a reason, some of the customers must have been asking for it. Um, nice cooling setup here, passive cooling solution. Um, no silly kind of looking uh, guns or other uh, things like that. Um, up here, this is, this is the uh, cooling for the CPU area. Single heat, heat pipe design here, as you can see here. It looks quite good. Looks like it would be rather effective. CPU socket, of course. Uh, you've got four DIMM slots here for DDR3 dual channel support. Um, now, Ace Rock with overclocking, you, uh, what they've got here is uh, DDR3 2800. Uh, so this is the type of speed they're saying you can hit. So you might be able to expect some good memory performance out of this board as well. Um, uh, okay, so now we'll show, show you the um, I.O. panel here. So we've got a combo PS2 port here, uh, two USB 3 ports here, uh, we've got a VGA connector here, single link DVI, display port, HDMI, this is uh, clear CMOS, some more USB uh, t uh, 2 ports here, this is fire, Firewire, here is uh, eSATA, Gigabit LAN, two more USB 3 ports, and this is the audio setup here, as long, uh, along with the optical port here. Um, now if we move over here, we've got the debug LED here, so this is handy because it'll tell you if you have problems with the board, it'll give you, it'll spit out an error number at you that you can quickly check up and see what the problem is. Um, here, power reset buttons. Over here we have SATA um, connectors here, eight in total. Um, this is the USB 3 uh, header that uh, this um, device will plug into. The blue part will just plug straight in here, like so. Um, this is the power connector here, um, move around a little bit more, 
This is the uh, CPU power here. Now there's an additional um, Molex power input here. This is to provide your video cards with extra juice if they need it. You might not need this, you could use it if you want to. So this is a look at the Ace Rock X, uh, Z77 Extreme 6. Um, big focus on XFast. Um, it does come with Virtue MVP technology as well. Uh, actually, one thing I, have, I didn't mention is, of course, a um, M side of the connector here. It's kind of a little bit squeezed up. Um, we were saying off camera before, it, it looks really tight. And I'm not sure if it'll fit. It might just fit. But uh, as Shane said to me, it, it only needs to fit. He thinks it looks okay. Uh, yeah, so this has been your look at the Ace Rock Z77 Extreme 6. Um, Shane's going to be working on a review real soon. And I hope you've enjoyed this uh, unboxing and look at this motherboard and come back again soon for more video content from Tweaktown.